Well, we've always had partisanship, uh, it's, but it never resulted in paralysis. So uh, I think in the last 10 or 15 years, with the advent of much more money in politics and the nature and the changing media that covers politics 24-7, and uh, coupled with the change in the global si situation, America's role in the world, it's just much tougher to get anything done. And politics, which is not a game, has now become a game. It's become very tribal. You're either on one side or the other, and it's very rare that you find people that are willing to kind of cross-party lines, even on the most important things. Well, there's no question that Washington is more hyper-partisan today than it's ever been in its history, and it's a result of a constellation of issues. Uh, some of them relate to how people are elected, uh, uh, partisan districts uh, that need to be reformed. A lot of it's the evolution of technology and new media, talk radio, cable television, uh, who all are complicit in the effort to create more chaos and conflict uh, than dialogue, true dialogue. And I think most importantly, uh, a legal decision like Citizens United from the Supreme Court, which opened the doors to massive uh, dark spending, undisclosed spending, so that what, what that's done is it's amplified the voices of minorities that don't really reflect represent majorities in this country uh, and, and are bent on shoveling sand into the engine of government and really kind of shutting it down. They, they would prefer the status quo to any change. And they hold our politicians hostage, threaten them with primaries. So politicians today are more worried about being threatened from their right or their left than running in a general election. And that's, that's created an ultra hyperpartisan environment. Um, I think there's a lot of reasons, but I think one of the top reasons is money in politics. I think uh, the fact that these members of Congress have to spend so much time on the road uh, fundraising and the amounts of money they have to raise, that fear and hyperbole and hysteria is one of the ways that they raise that money. And it's a systemic problem and we absolutely have to address it. I think Citizens United is um, a, a problem. We were, we were hyper-partisan before Citizens United, but that, um, that's making us go off the charts. Well, I'm an eternal optimist. I think I, I see a flame in the dark tunnel, uh, and that's because I think that ultimately democracy, even as distorted as it is today, responds to the market, and the market in this case is, our, is American citizens. And what we are seeing at No Labels, which is a, an effort to bring the parties together and create problem solving, uh, is massive support outside of Washington for that idea. People are sick of partisan politics. They don't care if it's a Democratic solution or a Republican solution. They just want a solution. They want progress, any kind of progress. And so what we're discovering is that uh, we started a No Labels caucus in the Congress, and our goal was to get 20 initially, which we did, but our ultimately our goal in the first year was to get 50. The leadership pat us on the head and said, come back when you get 70, assuming we'd never get there. And we now have 94 members, half Democrats, half Republicans, who are all committed to working together, meeting together, coming up with solutions together. And what they're discovering is that, that they're getting a terrific response from voters. So when they go back home and say, you know, unlike the rest of Congress, I'm actually meeting with members of the other party, we're working together, and, and, and that's only going to grow. So, uh, so we've, we've exceeded our numbers by a, lo a long shot. Uh, they've written 17 pieces of legislation in just the last few months, which is more than the Congress has done in the last year. They have a national strategic agenda about just establishing some simple goals. So what we're really doing is going back to basics. The really fundamental should be easy stuff. Unfortunately, it's hard today, but we're doing it. We're just getting people of opposing parties together, get them in a room together, establish some trust, create some very simple goals that we can agree on and start moving things forward. So it's incremental, but we're heading in the right direction. Well, there's no real option to politics. I mean, uh, we still have things that the country has to do together. National defense, national security, roads, sewers, bridges, water systems. And then at the state level, education is certainly one, and protecting people against crime and health care. I mean, all these things are still in the political world. So there is no uh, uh, op option to, to dealing with these issues. The trick is 
whether we were able to climb the hill to deal with the problems of media, money, lack of leadership, courage, that afflicts all levels of government, the national government, particularly the Congress, but it also affects the presidency as well, and uh, try to do the things that are need to be done to make sure that the country continue to be strong. Here's the problem. If we have continued gridlock and paralysis, then the country will get weaker, not stronger. We will not be able to rebuild our infrastructure. We will not be able to uh, have higher quality education and, and other kinds of things, and the rest of the world will just catapult ahead of us. And that's, I don't want to see that happen on anybody's watch. So I'm a fan of Game of Thrones, and my, I just wrote a column about how I think Americans are so obsessed with that show because things don't always necessarily get better. Uh, there, there may not be a Hollywood ending. We have to take matters in our own hands. If we want to change the political system for the better, we can't be apathetic. We can't sit back and let, uh, let ourselves disintegrate into red states and blue states. We, we've got to take charge. And I do think this younger generation has a much healthier attitude and they are getting out there and doing it. I, I'm really inspired. Great.